Okay, we're going to start looking at linear sequences now, and hopefully you can see here that uh, the 5 and the 8 and the 8 and the 11 have a difference between the numbers of 3. So if we wanted to find the next two terms, we would look at this difference here, plus 3 and plus 3. So we would add another 3 on here, and hopefully if we added on 3 here, we would get then 14, and if we added on another 3, we would get 17. This is what a linear sequence is. It goes up by the same amount each time. That's very important, the same amount each time. And we tend to call the, these numbers that it goes up by, we tend to call them the differences. The differences between the terms, okay? Now, this is the most common question that you'll get. Find the nth term. Well, to find the nth term, we have to look at the sequence. Now, the first term of the sequence, term number one, is five. Term number two, or the second term of the sequence, is eight. Term number three, the third term, is 11, and so on. Now, what I want to ask you is, what would be the zero term? The term before the first term. Now, we know they go up in threes here. We know this is three more and three more. So, therefore, this number must have been three more. This number must be the number two. Now that is a very, very important number, the zero term. The zero term is ultimately where the sequence really starts from. It's the constant part of the sequence, whereas this is the thing that changes. One lot of three, two lots of three, three lots of three. And from this, we should be able to find a number machine that works for this. The number machine that works for this sequence is actually times by three, times by 3 plus 2 and that just happens to be 3n plus 2 which is our nth term. So that's a very quick way to find the nth term. The key is the zero term which goes in here and the differences part which goes in there. Now, we've been asked here to find the 20th term. To find the 20th term, what we need to do is put 20 into our number machine. 20 times by 3 plus 2. And if we do that, we get 60, 62. 62 is the 20th 